the council are not being democratic, and that's what's really getting to me. It's like you look around here; it's very middle class, it's very white. There's a big chunks of Sheffield community that are not actually engaged. In what they've clearly done, as you can see today, has made it much stronger. Cheers, thank you. Let's meet you. Cheers, thank you. Politics should be something you do, not have done to you. And more of the people should be the same, they're not kind of much done to us. Uh, I think what's really great is the shift of the action. Can you tell me your experience of trees in Sheffield? Well, I'm in particular, I'm protesting about the trees that are outside my house. I've got a 130-year-old oak directly outside my house that's on the felling list. Um, it, it was there before all the other houses in my area were built. So, you know, it just, there's nothing wrong with the tree. It's perfectly healthy, and I love that tree. Also on my street, I've got a row of limes. There's 12 limes on the street, and seven of them are going to be felled, and that's, that was confirmed at the same time Anybody as Rustling Road. In fact, I could go home and find that they've been felled whilst I'm out here protesting, which is a slight worry. Um, you know, trees are beautiful. Everyone loves trees. A few people say they love trees, but they don't want, out, want one outside their house. But that's that's the few people. You know, most 80% of the people on our road would like to keep the limes. Right. And I've written to loads of people, Sheffield City Council, and generally we don't get any response. I'm here today to show my support for the two guys who were arrested for peacefully protesting in front of a tree. It's not right. Obviously I'll be protesting in front of my trees when they come down. I don't want to get arrested. Is that uh, true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're all hopeful then that this is thrown out. Hopefully it will be thrown out, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Demonstration, it's, what do you think of today's turnout for the demonstration? Yeah, it's a very good turnout, particularly yeah. with it being a working day. Yes, and first day of December. People are probably thinking of Christmas shopping now rather than protesting about trees. They're thinking of decorating trees. Quite so. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Okay, no problem. They don't know the running order in there, but they'll probably put Simon and Calvin on first, presumably to get rid of us. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully they will be on at 10 or quote sure. whenever the magistrates have finished their coffee. Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> Would you like to tell me, uh, or tell the viewers, uh, what your experiences of trees and uh, what you're interested in in today's event is? Well, trees are great, and like we're meant to be in the greener city, and that's not going to be the case for much longer if they continue to cut them down. Yeah, if they keep cutting them, it's going to be the, the world's greatest city. Yeah. Um, they provide our air quality. They help with the flooding prevention. And they, I don't know, you get quite attached to them if you're around particular trees for your whole life. Really, I mean, they're just a part of your day-to-day -day experience. Have you got a personal favourite tree then? Like in front of your house perhaps? I, I can't I can't say. I feel that's favouritism and I can't show that. No I mean like at my house like you've got all sorts of memories of like you sort of play amongst the trees when you're little like hide and seek or whatever and yeah. if, if they were to go then yeah, yeah I think that would have quite a big effect on The it. ones that have already gone are very noticeable. You don't notice they're gone until they're gone. What about the fact that they're planting saplings? Eventually, you know, they do take the roots out because they've done it in where I live, you know, dug the roots out and uh, planted a, a small, a, a new young tree. Yeah, well, wow. that's great if the saplings actually survive, but there's, there's not a great survival chance that they're not actually really planting them very well. And, um, Even if they do survive, it, it'll be it's gonna 100 be years. years. In years before they provide the effects of the mature trees that they're taking out most of which are still incredibly healthy and have been deemed so by a tree board. Um, do, do you, uh, what do you think of the Sheffield Council then in today, you know, about how it's treated these protesters today? 
severe lack of respect for the residents and um, community of Sheffield um, and lack of communication within the council between departments as like councillors have expressed that disbelief themselves at what's going on so they need to communicate better with Sheffield as a whole and um, there's lots of simple solutions to the pavement and such that they can come up with that are probably a lot cheaper as well as more environmentally <laughs> beneficial. Yeah. You shouldn't be arre- you shouldn't be arrested for peaceful protest as well. You should be able to to, to say what you feel peacefully without any retribution coming to you. Because it's not a democracy if you can't do that. Yes indeed. Yes, I totally agree. Thank you. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add? Well, you on. <laughs> I, I hope they start listening up soon because yeah. people aren't going to stop protesting. Um, the fact that they're sort of threatening with arrest, I mean, it, it just makes people more angry, really. So, I hope they listen up. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. They're coming out now, so not the results I wanted, but campaign carries on. guilty pleas were entered um, and a trial has been listed for March of next year. Um, I can't say anything more than that um, but that's essentially what's happened today. So the process will simply be uh, that the matter has now adjourned, the defendants remain on conditional bail um, and it will be next in court on the 9th of March for trial. Thank you. Thank you. I'm I'm not really sure that that's what we expected. Um, would you guys like to say anything? Nothing to add, <laughs> nothing to add to that really. Nothing to add and no. so I guess in terms of the cam- in terms of the campaign this puts us in a bit of a curious position. Um, and Drop the charges! Yeah. Yeah, they haven't dropped the charges and so I guess this means that they will be at liberty to continue to arrest people under this same legislation. Shame! Yes. Shame! Yes. 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 Um, you got anything to say? Yeah. Well done, Calvin! Well, well done! Well done! Well done! Save our trees! 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 Save our now remains in force until the 9th of March when Calvin and Simon come back to court. I can tell you now, it will not mean the end of non-violent direct action. It will not mean the end of peaceful protest. It will not mean the end of peaceful protest. The Stag campaign now has close to 4,000 actual members and many, many more supporters. When they come to your area for your trees, you have a right to peacefully protest. The least you can do is stand there and delay until the very last moment. If when push comes to shove, you don't want to be arrested, then feel free to stand aside. It's up to each individual. Remember, 
this is a peaceful protest be nice to everybody let's do this thing with love we're in the right here we're gonna win this fight thank you more reason why we uh, do need to gather for a full council next Wednesday, that's one December o'clock. the 7th, 1 o'clock at the Town Hall Steps. Um, the Green Party are bringing a uh, motion of no confidence. Yay! 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 Um, I think it's quite clear that anyone who organised Rustling's Road and thought that was a good idea, they're not really fit to run the city. No! Yeah! 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 Not my grand! So I guess yeah, we need to, to let them know how strongly we feel about this, how disgusted we are in the behaviour of basically the council um, conspiring with a multinational company to um, vandal- in, in, in commit environmental vandalism and uh, destroy our healthy trees, removing healthy trees for no reason other than to reduce their maintenance cost. It's absolutely appalling and we need to uh, protest as loudly as we can. I just want to echo what Alison has said. You know, as Dave says, this campaign is not going away. The protests aren't going away. Like I said earlier, it looks like the next battle is going to be around Nether Edge and in Crooks on Western Road. I think I want to thank everyone, I think on behalf of myself, Alice and all the other councillors, opposition councillors from the different parties for your support you've given us. Please come and to the rally at one o'clock on Wednesday the 7th of December. Please sign those petitions. The Western Road petition has had three and a half thousand signatures in the last three days. Let's get that up to five thousand. That'll allow Dave and the other campaigners from Western Road to come to council and they will get a debate. Whether this council listens or not is up to you, the people. You will eventually get them to listen. I think Julie Dore at the moment has remained pretty quiet on this issue.